In the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the village of Positelje sits close to the Croatian border. This 16th to 18th century fortified village is built in a natural amphitheatre. It's a mixture of medieval and Ottoman architecture. Narrow cobbled streets lined with carpet cellars lead up the hill to the medieval castle. The building with the domes is an old bathhouse. The mosque, which was built in 1563, was badly damaged in the Bosnian War in 1993 and was restored in 2002. In the late 1800s, Positelli lost its strategic importance, which is why it's pretty much unchanged today. Leaving Positelli, we travelled 30 kilometres north to Mostar. We arrived in the modern part of the city near the Peace Tower. At 352 feet, it's the tallest structure in Mostar and was completed in 2000. Next door is the Monastery of St. Peter and St. Paul, currently being rebuilt following the war. In the cobbled streets of the old town, there are so many souvenir shops and restaurants that it's almost impossible to see the architecture of the buildings. But there are places where you can look out over the rooftops. The street reaches the river canyon at the old bridge, the city's symbol and one of the most important structures of the Ottoman era. Built of local cast limestone, it's tricky to walk across because it's so slippery. There are wonderful views from the top of the bridge. The street continues on the other side of the river to the Koski Mehmed Pasha Mosque, built in 1618 in the classical Ottoman style. Returning to the bridge, we looked over to a riverside area and went down to see the bridge from below. It stood for 427 years, until it was destroyed in 1993 in the Bosnian War. After the war it was rebuilt, along with the surrounding historic neighbourhoods, and was completed in 2004. The money for the reconstruction was donated by Spain, the USA, Turkey, Italy, the Netherlands and Croatia. If you're ever in the area, you must visit this wonderful place.